questions for me that I might be able to answer? Um, I You've done that a few times, huh? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Always fun. <laughs> well, once we get the surgery over with, that won't happen again. Uh, yep. See, there you go. You're, you're already doing it. You're always thinking positive. Mm -hmm. I think about never, you know, your stupid coughing fits that yeah. make everybody stop and look at you. Oh yeah, um, because I'm tired of that because when I was in, um, like, it's like a daycare for summer when your parents are, you know, at work. Um, this boy was like, his name is Alan. Uh, he, he would always try to get a drink just to stare at me. Like, he would sneak over. So, he would, whenever he went to a drink, even going to a drink, Constantly, like nonstop. I was like, I'm summoning up with him for some reason. So the next thing when I was coughing, I looked over, like just just to peek, so he won't notice me. I'm looking at him, and he was staring at me. He went, he was walking and looking at me, and then he went for a drink. Yeah, He's been I doing that, that all too. over. oxygen and be able to take a deep breath. Remember how long ago that was? That was when I was like five or six-ish. Yeah, it's been about four or five years that she she had to get on oxygen now. And before yeah. th before then, she was more normal. I mean, obviously, you know, she had her treatments in the morning and the evenings. And but her, I was running around and yeah. playing, going swimming underwater and everything. Please. Hmm. Well. So Ashley, uh, she may want to call you again. Um, 
at some point, uh, maybe the next day or two. Uh, tomorrow, she's going to be listed on the transplant list, the doctors told us. Awesome. And uh, so we're finishing up our uh, our own paperwork for questionnaires for her and, of course, us parents as well. We have to fill out a, a questionnaire, but the doctors already told us they're, they're ready to move forward. And Angelina, Angelina seems to be doing better with the idea. Of course, she's been fearful to start, but uh, with with the other people, uh, you know, helping to talk to her, it's been a big help. And she told me yesterday that, uh, you know, of course, as dad, I keep telling her, sweetheart, it's going to be all right. We're going to be I just fine. Everybody. everybody tells her that. <clears throat> and so yesterday she tells me, she looks me in the eye and says, dad, but you don't understand. You're not going through this. So I decided, you know what, I'm going to get a hold of Ashley and that way, both of you guys can talk because y'all are both going through it and it's important for her to <laughs> talk to someone exactly in the same position. So I really appreciate it, Ashley. Of course, no problem. You know, you can call me anytime and you can text me anytime. You have the, your iPad and yeah. you have my iPad number. Mm -hmm. So if you want that anytime you want, um, or FaceTime me or Skype me, just, uh, it's not a big deal. I'll be glad to talk to you. If you're just like having a really bad day and you just need somebody to vent to about cystic fibrosis and how, how much it blows, then, you know, I'll be right there with you and I'll, I'll be like, yeah, you're right. Every second it does suck, but it'll all be better. It'll all get better for sure. Yeah. Okay, well, thank you, Ashley. You have a good day, okay? And uh, hang in there. 